my Libras, it's Jamie Zebra 23. I am doing your monthly spread for March 2019 for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Cross Watchers. I'm on all social media. It's Jamie Zebra 23. If you'd like a personal reading, you can check out the website, jamiezebra23.com. My readings are 20 minutes, 40 minutes, and 60 minutes. I typically do your readings within 24 to 48 hours. I also have a new feature, same day readings. It's a little pricier, but you do get your readings the same day. I also have an $8 one question, one answer via email only. I typically answer you within about 20 minutes, so be sure to write your email addresses correctly so that I can email you back fairly quickly. Um, I've got full-size candles, do-it-yourself love kits, protection kits, prosperity kits, crystal stones, pendants, Florida water, Florida water soap, incense sage, um, protection bracelets, pendulums for divination and prophecy. Keep in mind that these are general readings, so they may or may not resonate. These are not personal readings, so be sure to check out your sun, your moon, and your rising. Um, what else? This is for March 2019, Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Cross Watchers. Okay, guys, um, so I just uh, uploaded the, uh, the 25th of February, the week of February 25th. Um, by the time you're getting this video, it's probably going to be like a month and a half, two months later. I am just coming off of a cold, and I feel really, really nauseous right now, so I'm trying to get through these marches so that you get them. I'm going to do uh, a longer video at a later date. Okay, guys, I got two different spreads for you because I know you'd be pissed off at me if I only gave you this one. That's a warning. So let me just go like this to show you guys. This top row is the first spread that you got. This bottom row is the second one I got for those of you that are not dealing with hardships and drama. So you're welcome. Okay, you know, Libra's my, um, my rising. So yeah. Okay, so first set. You got, yeah, you got a lot going on. Guys, be very, very careful about what you say. I see legal issues coming up big time. I feel like somebody's going to be recording what you said, maybe wire, wiretap. Please be careful. I feel like they're going to do this in the beginning of March 2019, like the first week, but they may not come to collect you until maybe a week later, 10 days later. I feel like you need to be very, very careful. It's, I, I would say take time off of work, but you don't have the money, you can't. So for those of you that work in a business that maybe is not on the up and up or you work out of your house and it's not really, you know, it does show here that you are being watched, so just make sure you're careful. But what I'm getting the most out of this, Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Cross Watchers, what I'm getting the most is whatever you say is gonna be the issue. I don't see a camera where they're recording you physically, but what I do see is something there where, where they're recording your words. Watch your words. Also, if you do have somebody that kind of makes you feel uneasy and like you go to the bathroom or you leave the room for a minute, when they leave, you need to check out that room thoroughly or wherever they were located and see if they left anything behind, like a recording device, left anything at all. You need to sweep that room. Just make sure you do that. I feel like you'll be fine. Um, this is really unfortunate because I do see betrayal here. So it might be like a friend of yours. So like, you know, may, some of you might might be, you know, selling marijuana out of your house or, you know, selling crack or coke or maybe you're a hooker or maybe you're a stripper. You know, whatever it is that's, you know, that you're not supposed to, maybe you're selling knockoff bags. You know, maybe knockoff purses, whatever it is that's not, you know, legal. Be really careful because I feel like maybe somebody got mad at you or maybe somebody's pissed off that you're making money or maybe somebody got fired. You know, if you if you don't work in your home, if you work like at a location, maybe somebody's pissed off that they got fired and maybe they're mad at the manager or maybe they're mad at the owner. Maybe you had a breakup with someone and now they're trying to get revenge against you because it definitely shows betrayal. Somebody's spilling the beans. So just... um. Try not to make any enemies, you know, especially if you work in businesses like that or you have, you know, that's how you make your money, you know, at all costs, do not make enemies. My goodness, take the high road every time. So now off to a different, okay, this one's way better, so don't worry guys. Okay, now, um, I do see reconciliations with families. So if, um, if you were wondering if your relationship was gonna work out, if you were ever gonna get married, if you were ever gonna be a mom or a dad, you will. I feel like you guys have new beginnings coming, whatever the karmic situation was or life lessons were that you had to learn, it's all coming to a close. I feel like family units, also anybody that's dealing with a health scare, whether this is you or someone else, it's coming out of it. It's a completion, the health scare is over. Um, if somebody was, um, I don't wanna say, maybe they were in a hospital, but I don't wanna say that they were in a hospital because it looks more like a home setting. 
maybe a nursing home, but maybe for, for young people or maybe for someone who's not that old, you know, maybe somebody who's like in their thirties or in their twenties or teens, or maybe even a toddler. It looks like they're going to be coming, coming out of it. It's like they're overcoming whatever the, the health issue was. Um, they, I, they feel like they want to come home wherever they are. They want to come home now after a health issue. They want to come home. Um, it might not be a good idea for them to come home right now or for you to come home right now. I feel like a little, just a little bit more because like, let's say something happens, you would need to have the equipment there for, so that they don't go, go back to, so like they've, they've gotten better. So you don't want them to like to go home and something happens, maybe a seizure or something. I don't know. Something happens and then they go, go back into the same state that they were in when they first arrived at the, at the hospital. So they can't go home yet. So if this is you trying to go home, you can't go home yet. So just wait a minute. If this is um, a loved one, don't let them come home yet. They need a little bit more, maybe another month, and then they'll be fine. Smooth sailing. Okay, now off to something else. When it comes to Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio energy, I feel like your relationships can be saved. Whatever betrayals that were did happen, or if they did go out of your life, they're going to be back in, but in it for the long haul. I feel like this is the forever thing. It may have been like... um a karmic relationship but now it's a soulmate situation it looks like it'll be a forever thing a capricorn a taurus or a virgo person wants to make something up to you maybe they disappointed you in the past or maybe they took something that belonged to you or you lost something because of them but i feel like well, but i feel like this capricorn taurus or virgo person um they they really do feel guilty they feel bad maybe they couldn't fulfill an obligation due to whatever was going on with them, but they, they mean well, they do, they are sorry and they want to fix it. Also, for those of you um, that are dealing with fire energy, cancer, or I'm sorry, for some of you it is cancer, but Sagittarius or Aries energy, I feel like, I'm so nauseous guys, I'm just trying to get this out. Um, I feel like this person does want to live with you. They don't, they want to, they want to claim you. They want to say, you're my boyfriend, you're my girlfriend, you're my husband, you're my wife, you're mine forever. And that's what, how it's going to be. They truly do love you. They want to be with you. If you're not with this person now, they're yearning for you. So if you if you are considering getting, like, if you're missing a fire sign or a cancer right now, try to reach out to them because they're missing you too. They really want to, to do this with you. Um, like, they fantasize about having a life with you, a family with you, you know, you guys waking up every day and eating breakfast, lunch, and dinner together and, you know, living your best life. Maybe you guys were, you know, maybe there was a disconnect or maybe you weren't getting along. But try to get back together. Try to try to get in contact with them because they want what you want. It's a good time. I mean, yeah, we are in the retrograde energy period. But, um, but I feel like, you know, true love, why wait? If you know that this is who you want to be with forever, why wait? Go for it. All right, guys, jamiezebra23.com. Ta-ta for now.